guys welcome back today we are making a bucatini al mastrana and i'll show you all the ingredients right now so we have romano cheese one chale a red onion olive oil pepper salt red pepper flakes San Rosano style tomatoes, and I have the Bucatini pasta. Bucatini is my favorite pasta. It's kind of like spaghetti, but it has a hole in the middle of it. So it's kind of a little bit cooler. And like usual, first thing I'm gonna wanna do is prep my ingredients. So I could just wham bam, throw it all together. First things first is I'm gonna cut up my guanciale. So, just throwing it out there. One chale is a little bit hard to find. You might not be able to find it. So if you can't find it, just substitute it for pancetta. So I'm just gonna cube up this meat and I'm using about six ounces here. So I got the guanciale all cubed up and now I'm just going to do the same with a red onion and I'm gonna use, uh, I wanna say about a fourth of a cup. This is part is not traditional, the garlic. I'm gonna use one clove of garlic. I know it's not traditional in this dish, but I like garlic, so I'm gonna put it in there, and I just don't care. So if you wanna be more traditional, leave the garlic out. So the thing that I love about Italian food is it's usually simple and quick, and it's not always quick, let me take that back. But they usually only use a couple of ingredients, so it's not like you need the whole freaking grocery store to make a dish. So. I'm just gonna jump right in and get started making this dish and you'll see how simple it is. So if you like a red sauce pasta, this just takes it up a notch to a whole nother level. The guanciale is delicious. Just trust me on it. I'm first gonna add the guanciale. And you hear it sizzling away. You wanna get a nice little crusty texture on here. Now that that has been in there mm, for about a minute, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the onions as well. Give it a nice little stir around. You see how some of these pieces in here are getting a little brown on them? That's what we're gonna wanna see. That's, that's a good sign we're on the right track. Now that our pieces are getting nice and brown, we're gonna add the garlic, because we don't want it to burn, that's why we add it last here. And again, if you wanna be more traditional, just do not add the garlic. And make sure you stir it around so that garlic doesn't burn. Some people add about I don't know, like a little splash of white wine in here, but I'm not doing that. So we're just gonna go ahead and add our tomato sauce. Before I forget, before you add the tomato sauce, add a pinch of the red pepper flakes and give it a little stir. Now I'm gonna add, I got San Marzano's pureed, but you could always get whole San Marzano's and just crush them up. And we're just gonna pour it right in here. Give this a nice stir around. And we're gonna turn down the heat to about a medium, medium low. And this is, 
a very delicious dish right here. We're also going to add a couple grains of pepper and a few pinches of salt. This would be a good time to go ahead and start your pasta water. And don't forget to add the salt to the pasta water. It's very important. I had to put my hair up, you guys. I also have my little nugget with me because he was losing his mind. So I didn't even mention it, but you're gonna wanna cook this sauce for at least 20 minutes, if not longer, if you can. That's why I usually wait until I'm done doing the sauce to start the pasta. So then by the time the water boils, I put the pasta in, the pasta cooks, the sauce is done. So this is an easy, easy 20 minute meal. Can you just not tell me how cute this baby is? Look how cute this little guy is. The cutest baby. Okay, so, Wolfie well, won't let me put him down, so I'm gonna be holding on. So, in the pan, I have a couple tablespoons of the pasta water, which just makes it better. And I'm gonna throw my bucatini in there. And then I'm going to get a couple spoonfuls of this delicious sauce. And I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit and I'm gonna mix it together and kind of cook the pasta a little bit longer in the sauce to help the sauce actually stick to the bucatini and it just makes it a whole hell of a lot better. Can you see how good everything's starting to stick to this pasta? Okay, so I got my pasta all plated. I got my Romano. Doesn't that look delicious? And I'm gonna add a generous helping of the Romano cheese, so good. And now the best part, eating it. And I have to eat it quick because my baby's losing his mind. It's so good. And like I said, it was only 20 minutes. Wolfie, I'm coming. Mmm. So good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.